Good morning, traders. Uh, this is your Dow Jones daily review. Um, so we had a, a negative candle, or bearish candle yesterday on the daily, and it was followed through from the pin bar. But um, really, it was just the the FOC or the Fed's uh, tweet the day that was released from uh, their meeting, and uh, no rate hikes. And then the double whammy on that was uh, Trump came out to say that the Chinese tariffs are well, yet to stay for a while. So clearly they don't have a, a resolution like he's been punting. Um, so I think the a couple of things. The trend is still technically to the upside. Okay. And I see we have found some support. on this uh, trend line here okay so this trend line you see from that uh, fractal there to this fractal here and this is kind of the area we own we also just above the alligator so at the moment the daily the trend is still up but uh, a little bit suspect and uh, with the alligator going flat or going to sleep uh, it's pretty much uh, talking about consolidation at the moment now I've put, I just want to delete this trend line. So I've put this blue line in. Uh, that's the next level. You can see there's our, our two pin bars. There's one over there. So there's three touches on that, uh, four touches on that actually. And then if I look to the left, you'll see there's a lot more that are interacting at that level. So that's kind of what I'm expecting a, a bit of a bounce off. Um, maybe a bounce to retest the top or alternatively, uh, we're going to break through that level. So let's just have a look at the lower time frames and we will pick up the levels now. So it's a little bit messy. You can see we broke through the alligator, had a, a one bar retest. We formed the pin bar or tweeze the bottom here. Um, oscillator is grouping the downside. Not so keen about the awesome oscillator. It's looking a bit messy. But uh, ultimately, we do have. There's some indications here that we may very well move back to the upside. Now, what I'll be looking for is either a move up and a retest of the alligator and then start moving to the downside. That will give me the confirmation that I would be looking for for a trend change. Okay. So for me at this stage, trend is still up and uh, albeit messy and I'm looking for long entries. Now, yesterday I said to you, this area here would be a good uh, area for a long. Uh, problem is that we had this four hour close below that level. So we'll pick this up on the lower time frames and uh, we'll see what we've got there. But I think this daily level here is the next one. And then obviously just below that you've got the four hour 200 EMA which is going to line up with this breakout retest here. Okay. So, let's look at the one hour. So the problem is, you can see yesterday was a day today. Massive move up, massive move down. Okay, so uh, I wasn't in the market yesterday. This I don't really like playing it when the data comes out. So, sitting on the sideline and watching. And uh, for me at this stage, this level here that we were looking at, the fact that we've got a close below it, would have also indicated, let's see, we're expecting something to happen at this level. But we close below, then we got a bit of a bounce, and then we got a sell off again. So that would have stopped you out uh, if you'd had a fairly close stop here, or even below this bar. Maybe below this pin bar, you would still be in the market, but I think uh, you'd be a little bit stressed at the moment because uh, looking at the hour trend is still down. And I would expect us to come and tag this next level now, which is 25.627. Okay, so 25.627 is definitely an area I, I'm looking at for a long entry. Okay, trend is, is still, still to the upside. I'm pretty much going to play this as a, a move, a potential move back up to test the highs. But if it does fail at the alligator where we take profit and uh, look for a short entry and that's where we, we look for a continuation to the downside.
Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure that's what's going to play out. If I look at what's happening in the market at the moment, so if you look at um, okay, the Nasdaq closed up, and Nasdaq futures is also slightly up. Uh, S and P closed slightly down and uh, is flat at the moment, and obviously. The Dow we're looking at now, we've got a bit of a negative move to the downside, but this is after hours trade, so I'm not too stressed about that. So yeah, um, moving back down to the half hour, same picture. What we're looking for here is a bounce of 25.627. And uh, let's just see where we can get some stops in. Uh, before we do stops, let's just do one last thing. Okay, we're pretty much on the 61.8 at the moment. We dropped down at the 72.6. So this would be a great area for me to, to get long. And a stop pretty much, we can have a fairly tight stop. Or we can have a 170 point stop below the, the swing low here. Okay, so I think for me, I'll just wait for price action. If we get a, a decent setup in price action, then we will be in. Uh, just delete this and more than likely off the half hour. And what I'll be looking for is uh, either a pin bar or an inside bar, anything that's indicating a trend direction change and looking at it off this level here. So 25627. Okay, pointless jumping in on any longs up here because there's no, there's no level for support. Okay, so yeah, that's my view at the moment. Um, nothing really going to change in any of the time frames. Currently the trend is down on the shorter time frames, so you know, you'd be looking for shorts and you're looking to get to this level. Once you're at this level, you're looking for long. But for me, I'm not playing the short. I'll wait for the, the structure to, to form and then look for my long continue in the trend, the, the overall bigger trend. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's um, that's my take on this for today. I hope it helps, and uh, keep those stops tight, and I'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.